Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. We got a little bit of rainfall in Waterloo right now. A couple of stray showers over Cold Point. Look at that. Cokesbury picking up on a little bit of rain. This is quickly dissipating, which is good news. But as we take a look at our active flood warnings, meaning we've still got this river, Saluda River at West Pelzer, especially still technically spilling over its banks into some neighborhoods. This flood warning is in effect through early tomorrow morning, by the way. And then as we move into the mountains for Asheville, we've got a flood warning along basically the the flood river, uh, the French Broad River, excuse me. This part of it from Asheville to Flesher is in effect until tomorrow at noon. And as you travel down south closer to Brevard, that flood warning is still in effect until tomorrow morning. So all of these flood warnings for the area rivers expire at some point tomorrow as those flood waters continue to recede. So some good news there. We've got tropical depression Joyce. This is moving uh, to the north and eventually maybe to the west out toward Bermuda, if not to the east of Bermuda. We've got Tropical Depression 12. This is likely going to be our next major hurricane. You could see this tiny little dot right there. There's Bermuda. So I think it's going to probably likely be spun around east of there, but something that we will continue to watch. Nonetheless, another Category 3 likely stronger as we go into the coming days. This is the one uh, that we're hyper focused on right now because this has not developed yet. OK, so there's nothing to track, but this is expected to develop develop in the coming days in the Caribbean and then very likely end up in the Gulf of Mexico. Again, there is a 50% chance that we will be tracking another system in the Gulf of Mexico as we go into the weekend or early next week. So we'll be following that for you. In the meantime, live Super Doppler 4 radar all across the region. Things mainly calm, mainly dry. A few stray showers out there right now. As we head into this afternoon, yes, there's going to be a few more of those showers, especially right along I-40 into the north of there. I think it's going to be a bit more isolated to the south, but they will be around. Not expecting anything severe, not expecting most of these to be heavy. So good news there, uh, but still re I know we don't want or need any more rain. As we go into tomorrow, we're back to sun and clouds. You may see a couple spotty showers. It's just that time of year, but as we go throughout the next few days, I think for the most part, most of us will stay dry with highs near 80 degrees. The next big change for us in terms of our weather pattern comes as we get into the weekend. I think we're going to have a cold front that will be allowed to come through. If that happens, that's going to cool us down. And by the end of the weekend, for sure, we should start to feel more fall like in the 50s and in the 70s. And then a reinforcing shot of cold air likely coming next Monday and Tuesday, which would cool us down even more. So if you're hoping for more fall like weather, which, by the way, is not only cooler, it's got very dry air. So not much of a chance of rain once that comes. Uh, that should be by the end of the weekend into early next week.